Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be walking through how you can get Microsoft Authentication added into a Flask application that you are currently developing. And the first thing you're going to do, and what we're going to be doing in this video is basically walking through the quick start guide that Microsoft provides on their website. So uh, first thing we're going to do is go to portal.azure.com and you're going to want to make sure you're signed in with your Microsoft account before you start this. Then we're going to click on App Registration. So we're basically registering an application to authenticate with our particular Active Directory. And then from here, we're going to click on New Registration. And then now we can give this a name. And you can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call this vs-test msad authentication. And we're going to be configuring this as a single tenant application. Basically what tenants are referring to is how public you want to make your authentication app. So if you're working at a company and this company has a particular uh, domain such as at contoso.com and you only want contoso.com employees to be accessing your app, you're going to stick to single tenant. If you are writing an app that you want anyone with a Microsoft account to be able to access, uh, then you'll go with the multi-tenant application. So in this case, we're sticking with a single tenant app and now we're going to click on register. And then once we've clicked on register, we will make note how we have these uh, client IDs that have just been generated for us as well as a tenant ID and what you can do next to really help you out with getting started is just click on this quick start guide here on the left and I'm going to be using Python because this is a uh, Flask framework we're working with. I'm going to select Python and then basically our goal here is going to be to create a application that is using Microsoft to authenticate with. And so uh, what we're going to do, and just following these instructions, is add a reply URL. And in this case, we're just doing this on our local server, so we're going to call this localhost port 5000. And we're basically telling Microsoft that if you get these kind of authentication requests from this particular URL, then it is OK to uh, generate tokens for it, or it's basically helping you validate this request. Uh, if you don't do this, you will get errors when you try to uh, get these authentication tokens and we will see those errors later on. Um, we're also going to be getting a client secret generated and this client secret is something that you can manually create by going to certificates and secrets and then just creating a new client secret and setting expiration dates. Um, so this is something that you can do once you are getting more familiar with this process but for the sake of following this quick start guide uh, we're going to go back to that web page and we're going to let it do it for us. So basically we're going to make these changes. We are allowing these reply URLs or redirect URIs, they are the same thing uh, for our purpose here. And we're going to be saying that it's okay to get these kinds of requests from this URL. We're gonna be allowing permissions uh, for people who have basically been authenticated. And then finally, we're gonna be generating a client secret for our application. And I'm gonna delete this app as soon as I make it, but you guys will see what my client secret is and this is something that you obviously want to keep secret to your specific app so you're just going to click on make changes this is my client secret so I will click copy uh, and then I'm going to put this into a little notepad here so that we have this for future reference later it's very important to note that you only see your client secret when you create it uh, so if you forget it you'll just need to create a new one it's not a huge problem but it's just a little inconvenience so just make sure you write down what is your client secret um, and then save it in a text file or something like that. Now we're going to click on done. And then the next steps here are going to be uh, downloading the actual project that Microsoft has created for us. So we're going to download the code sample. This is going to be a zip file. You're going to extract this zip file. Uh, let me extract this to my C drive and then we'll open this up in uh, PyCharm. So I'm going to extract. call this Azure Samples, Extract, and then we can see that we've now got our uh, Microsoft Project sample code uploaded here, and it's really cool because you get to kind of reverse engineer and see how they're doing it. Um, so next, what you're going to do is, uh, because I love PyCharm so much, we're going to go to PyCharm, and let me make a new window, or uh, open up my code real quick. 
open. Okay, so here we are in PyCharm with our project, and we can see that we've got our uh, Microsoft sample code that we just downloaded. So we're gonna expand this. And next, what we're gonna do is just follow the quick start guide here. So we're gonna minimize that. Basically, we're gonna be installing the requirements file for this. So I'm gonna open up the terminal, and we're going to CD into our project. And then we're going to run pip install requirements. I need that dash r. So we've just installed all of the dependencies for our project. And now we will run our code by typing the following python app.py. And now we are running our project. So the next thing we're going to do here is click on this link. This is going to open up uh, your local host's IP, which is 127.0.0.1, port 5000. And this is a little bit not good because, or very not good, because when you click sign in, um, so basically you're going to say it's okay that this thing can uh, have its permissions. However, once you log in with your Microsoft account, you're going to get this error page saying that the reply URL specified in the request does not match reply. And that's because if we recall from earlier, our uh, reply URL is really localhost port 5000 slash get a token. And so what we just did was a call from 127.0.0.1. Um, so what we need to do here is if we go back to our original page, change this to localhost, hit enter. And now when we try to sign in, we're able to fully uh, authenticate with our Microsoft application. So getting that redirect URL or reply URL correct is extremely important. Otherwise you're gonna keep running into that error message. And uh, that is how this project is working. If you wanted to start looking a little bit deeper into what's going on here, uh, within Microsoft's code, they are importing this app config object. And here is where they are specifying this client secret. So if we recall from earlier, the uh, client secret that we copy pasted, they basically auto populated this into your client app and they grabbed the client ID for you. And then uh, they've got these redirect paths to help you authenticate. So um, that is how you can get up and running with Microsoft. Active Directory authentication for a single tenant or multi tenant application through a Flask application. And hopefully, this helps. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and take care.